Alrighty. Uh, really good matches here at the end of day 11. Uh, this is kind of the appetizer before the two big matches coming up. But, uh, you know, important for that man there, Wakamoto Haru. I think he wants this win pretty badly to be able to stay at Sekewake. He's got to get uh, three more, so he'd like to get this one. Hiroshima, of course, any loss at this point now that he's three and seven is a losing record, and he knows he'll be Kadoban in May. But, you know, he could win the next five in a row and go eight and seven, so it is possible. Um, but he hasn't been performing... Uh, very well, obviously, to this point, to put himself in this position, so uh, it's unlikely. But uh, we shall see how he does against Wakamoto Haru here on day 11. Uh, you know, one of the things I think Sumo should do, and I'm sure many of you would agree with me because you would love to see it just like I would, is, uh, you know, go out on tour. Not, and I know that they tour around Japan, um, and, and that's great, but, you know, get on a plane now that COVID is over and or, you know, very much, uh, you know, not a, a major issue anymore. Um, they need to go to London, you know, do do a three-day stint at, you know, some arena in London uh, or a venue in London. Go, you know, long time ago, they went to Las Vegas and they've been to Hawaii in the past, which makes a lot of sense because of the great Hawaiian wrestlers of, of the 90s and early 2000s. Um, but yeah, I think they should go on a world tour, as it were. And, uh, you know, they don't have to go to multiple places, but, you know, go to, uh, I would say those would be the two best places, Vegas or California, you know, Los Angeles, because there's a huge Japanese-American population on the west coast of the United States. Or go to London, you know, which is accessible to so many people in Europe, etc., and uh, do, you know, two or three days of sumo and, uh, you know, let the wrestlers, you know, have that experience of being in a foreign country. I don't know how much time off they ever get to, you know, travel and see the world. And um, it, it would just be great for the sport. It's trying, they're trying their best to reach out to the foreign fans, I think, more and more now with, you know, the sumo primetime channel and NHK World and, uh, you know, uh, there are you know, obviously foreign born Rikshi in the ranks. We've, you know, we've got, uh, a guy from the Ukraine, a guy from Kazakhstan, uh, a Mongolian who goes, you know, Roga who gets listed as Russian. We've got Mongolians, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, I think it now would be the perfect time to, you know, 2024, 2025, but uh, I just don't know if they're thinking about it. It obviously would cost a lot of money, but uh, it could be worth it if, if you know they want tourists to come to Japan and see sumo. Put it out there and, and let people know about it. You know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so the immediate question is, now that he's finally gotten eight losses, will Kirishima show up for work tomorrow? Will he pull out of the tournament? You know, is he injured? What's going on? His day 12 opponent tomorrow is Midori Fuji, so they haven't given him Ono Sato or Takeda Fuji. Uh, one of the leaders, you know, they've given him a Maiga Shiro 5. So I think he could pull out without much consequence to the uh, Yusho hunt, as it were. And uh, Wakamoto Haru has Takekesho tomorrow. Okay, come on back. The big match coming up. <laughs> 